We are back with another drink review with your favorite alcoholic. I'm privileged to As you know, my name is Dirty Dirty Motherfucker Alive. We got Cat. To my left, we got Pooty, aka Bank, or Bank, aka Pooty. And on the ones and twos, we got our guy, Um. Yes, up? What's up? Today, we have a special drink. It's special to us because, like, we grew up with this. Not, not, not necessarily this company, but, like, this brand is, like, a big part of our, like, childhood and teenage years and, sh- and shit like that. So, this is, like, kind of decent that we're old enough to drink now. And then we have this to uh, go to on a hot summer day. So, before you can say it. <laughs> we have Rita's Beer. Now, if you don't know what Rita's is, if you're from, like, where we're from, like, it's like a staple. Uh, where it's from? Philly. Oh. But I assume people know that by now. We got a lot of episodes in, but this is your first time listening to us. We're from Philly. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Rita's is a Ward Ice stand here. More of, like, a franchise at this point, though. Uh, if you don't know what Ward Ice is, it's sort of like shaved ice. But the Shandy Creek Brewing Company came out with three flavors, right? Yes. Yeah. That's all we saw. Three flavors. Right here, we have peach. Peach rain. Peach rain. I'm sorry, you're right. I've been hungry. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Rita's the We're drinking, so I'm always excited. You used to work at Rita's. It's like a full circle moment for you. (laughs) Yeah, that that wasn't supposed to be part of this. My bad. I mean, it's growth. Like, it happened. I I didn't expect you to say that. I didn't expect myself to say that. It just came on once. Moving on. It's a good time for it. Everybody, moving on. <laughs> so, without right. further ado, thank you. We'll start nice and with cold. You are cool. Oh, 80, 82 degree head uh, day in Philly. All right, what so, perfect way to set it off on night cabin? I'm drinking on the shed. Uh, no. Said, <laughs> you, said, you said, did you say night cap? No, so it's like five o'clock now. Why you bitching? Why you going to bed early? What else am I supposed to do? I don't know. Nothing to do. I'll watch them before I watch them. So, Rita's Fruit Brews, Tart Peach Ale, and the Shaman Creek Brewing Co. Mind you, this is peach ring. The other flavors are mango, mango and lemon, I think. Yes. yes. So, we'll have videos for those soon also. But for now, I'm like, it's crack. cracking and drink up. I'm expecting a peach ring candy flavor. Uh, duh. I mean, I would hope so, but <laughs> what the fuck else flavor would you expect? Watermelon? <laughs> it's beer, though. <laughs> it's kind of weird on my nose. It doesn't smell like alcohol. I was assuming it was sweeter, but... I think it's 5%. Five percent. Five. So it should be sweet. 12 fluid ounces. I'm not sure. Okay. My bad. That's... <laughs> <laughs> right there. Crazy right there. Drink up. Okay. Quite tough. That's sour as hell. That's like a peach ring, though. No, but peach ring, like, at some point, it's sweet. It does. They do. It's like a sour thing. But, but you gotta remember, we're drinking beer. Yeah. I like it, honestly. I do. No, I do. It's not, it's not bad. It's just unexpected. Yeah, this is good. This is good sour. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It reminds it's me. Like, it tastes peachy. It, re- it reminds me of sort of the Bud Light seltzer sours. I can see that. Okay, yeah. It reminds me of one of them. It's just not as sweet. Right. I can agree with that. I like this. Like, so, so should it be called a sour peach ring? Because it's sour. I mean, it does say tart peach ale. So, so, that's, that's, so that's, 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 um, I agree that it says a tart peach L, so that explains it. 
But before I knew that, I was suspecting it was sweet. But I'd give it a seven and a half. So. Well, I'm giving it an eight and a half. I like this a whole lot. Um, this is definitely something I could uh, see myself drinking again if I ever went to the Chamney Creek Brewery again. Um, I would like to have another one to give to my wife, see if she would like it. Uh, yeah, eight and a half. Cool, solid, solid. Seven and a half, seven and a half, eight, man. What about you, man? Yeah, um, for me, I, I'm i at the uh, eight, eight and a half as well. I like this a lot. Um, I agree with what you're saying as far as expectation. I think I expected it to be like a little sweeter. Um, but, you know, people who read, the tart peach is on the front of the can. So, yeah, um, Good out, yeah that, that makes all the sense, though. So, it, it expectations without reading, <laughs> I thought it would taste, it taste more like that peach ring. Then. But I get the flavor profile. It is there. It's just not... The sweetness that Sweet you expect right. from the sugary portions of it, I'm sure, um, that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, eight, eight and a half. Sounds like to me, it's not perfect and approved. Absolutely. That's right. So for you, for those of you who don't know, we need at least a rating of six and a half for it to say we want other people to try. So if you can find this, go get it. Well, I didn't go with y'all, fellas. Where'd you get it? Uh, the Shandy Creek Road. So you can actually, it. You can actually go there and pour it in PA. Yep. And get yourselves a six pack. How much is a six pack? Six pack was sixteen something. Sixteen dollars. Yeah, that's what the tax is. Yeah. The tax is yeah. They had a twelve pack for thirty, probably. But well, the case is fifty two. Yeah. Wrong case with you. Is 52? So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Must cost a lot to make these beers. Mm. Readers need that. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> they need that top end. Case. Hell yeah. Oh, so, cut the check. Hell yeah. That was another episode of Drink Review, the Unprivileged Drinker. Um, like I said, we'll have the other review for the other two up soon, so keep looking out. And remember, for all your drinking needs, just look up. <laughs>